5. System Hacking Password Cracking Techniques Password cracking is the process of guessing or cracking passwords used to secure user accounts, applications, or network devices. There are several password cracking techniques used by attackers, including 1. Dictionary Attack this technique involves using a list of common words or phrases, known as a dictionary, to guess the password. The attacker tries each word in the dictionary until the correct password is found. 2. Brute Force Attack This technique involves trying every possible combination of characters until the correct password is found. Brute Force Attacks can be time-consuming and resource-intensive, but they can be effective against weak passwords. 3. Hybrid Attack this technique combines elements of dictionary and brute force attacks. The attacker uses a list of common words and phrases as the basis for the attack, but also adds variations to the words, such as adding numbers or symbols, to increase the chances of success. To mitigate the risks of password cracking, it is important to use strong passwords that are difficult to guess or crack. Passwords should be at least 12 characters long and use a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Passwords should also be changed regularly and should not be reused across multiple accounts. Additionally, multi-factor authentication should be used wherever possible to add an extra layer of security beyond the password. Trojans and Backdoors Trojans and backdoors are types of malicious software that are designed to provide unauthorized access to a computer or network. While both are used to gain unauthorized access, they differ in their delivery and functionality. A trojan is a type of malware that is disguised as legitimate software, often through social engineering techniques such as phishing emails or fake software downloads. Once installed on a computer, a Trojan can perform a range of malicious actions, such as stealing personal information, installing additional malware, or providing remote access to the attacker. To protect against Trojans and backdoors, it is important to practice good security hygiene, such as keeping software up to date, using anti-malware software, and being cautious when downloading and installing software from unknown sources. Additionally, it is important to limit access to sensitive systems and data, and to use strong authentication mechanisms to prevent unauthorized access. Regular security audits and vulnerability assessments can also help identify and mitigate potential vulnerabilities. Rootkits Rootkits are a type of malicious software that are designed to provide stealthy, persistent access to a computer or network. They are named after the root user account in Unix-based operating systems, which has complete control over the system. There are two main types of rootkits. 1. User Mode Rootkits. These rootkits operate at the user level and are designed to hide processes, files, and registry keys from the operating system and security software. 2. Kernel Mode Rootkits. These rootkits operate at the kernel level and are designed to modify the operating system kernel to provide persistent access and evade detection by security software. To protect against rootkits, it is important to practice good security hygiene, such as keeping software up to date, using anti-malware software, and being cautious when downloading and installing software from unknown sources. Additionally, it is important to limit access to sensitive systems and data, and to use strong authentication mechanisms to prevent unauthorized access. Regular security audits and vulnerability assessments can also help identify and mitigate potential vulnerabilities. Thanks for watching. For more information like comment and subscribe our channel.